Today we're going to take a look at the 1980 mop It's My Secret Dollhouse by Knickerbocker. But I think I know what the secret is. Yep, I was right. My doll has a secret. Mop it, mop it, mop the secret dollhouse. You can have so much fun with the Moppet doll and dollhouse. Mop the secret dollhouse. You can put her in a disco dress and brush her pretty hair. You can sit her by the TV. Mop the secret dollhouse. You can put her to bed in a nightie. Mop it, mop it, mop the secret dollhouse. That's terrific. Moppet secret dollhouse with everything you see here from Knickerbocker. Adult assembly required. Okay, dollhouse people, so I'm excited for this short but fun little video. This is a dollhouse that I really wanted as a kid, and I never did get my chance to really have one, so when it, this one came available, I had to jump on it and I purchased it. I was super excited to open it, and I wanted to share that experience with you. So Knickerbocker is the brand uh, on this dollhouse, and they actually were a company that's been around since 1850 and they started in Albany, New York. And they were really well known for actually making Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls and Holly Hobby and other Disney dolls. And they were kind of well known for that. And of course they did make other kind of products like this little dollhouse here. However, um, you know, things didn't, you know, started kind of taking a dive and I believe in the early 80s, or actually, I'm sorry, in the mid 80s, Hasbro actually bought them out and that was the end of Knickerbocker. So then you have Fran Marr and Fran Marr was a US jeweler. She created costume decorations titled the Moppets, which were these little cute little children. And then from there it grew into you know, dishes, figurines, fabric, and then greeting cards. And so what you're seeing in these stickers and also the Moppets themselves actually was originally from the Fran Mar collection, combined with Knickerbocker, and then together they, it's this cute little secret dollhouse. So here we are. So this dollhouse, what I loved is just this idea of that she, anywhere she went, she had her dollhouse with her, or her little house with her, I should say. And I loved that. And this pretty much was almost complete. I have to say that the stickers were generally in good condition. A few had fallen off around the fireplace, uh, which is common occurrence for this. But this dollhouse was not played with that much. Whoever had this, whatever little girl, they did not really play with it. I mean, the skirt was, almost in perfect condition. The only thing I would say is that the dollhouse, um, the little doll actually, her hair is really, has seen better days. You know, but to be fair, it's super 80s. I mean, her bangs are standing straight up and I think mine were standing straight up at that age <laughs> in the 80s. <laughs> at least the late 80s because I don't think I was allowed to do my hair or anything like that till I got a little bit older. So here she is uh, in her dress. You lift up the dress and there beneath is the secret dollhouse. So the first room that we're going to take a look at is the bedroom and this thing comes with this sweet orange blanket and a blue polka dot pillow, an alarm clock, and a very retro lamp and then everything else is pretty much stickers so as this dollhouse turns the first thing that you're going to see is the retro kitchen which comes with the, the refrigerator and the sink as a sticker and then the stove and the oven are a flip around so they either are a stove and oven or a little shelf for the bedroom and then you have another shelf slash bar area with plenty of fun stickers and all sorts of you know accessories and and it transitions into the living room with complete retro fireplace bean bag shag rug delightful telephone and of course a tiny table with cups plates and pizza and then you keep turning and all of a sudden it turns into the sweet dressing room that came with two additional outfits 
a, like a party outfit, a pajamas, and then her regular polka dot outfit. And then you get the comb and the brush. And then this little drawer opens so you can store additional accessories inside. And you can see all the stickers are rock star stickers and then another little chair and a sticker that has all of her little hygiene products. You have total of four actual rooms to this dollhouse, which is the secret dollhouse, which is pretty cool. Knickerbocker also made a baby Moppet secret dollhouse, but I was not really ever as interested in the baby version of this, although it is super cute and you could check it out. So that's it. So I just wanted to share this adorable dollhouse with you, you know, fully plastic, um, just such a cute little concept and I, you know, these are the type of like member berries I love from my childhood, so I had to get it. Now, if you are also interested in dollhouse furniture and accessories, I do sell pre-owned dollhouse furniture accessories on my eBay website, which is Whitney1614. And you also will often find vintage dollhouse furniture there also if you are interested. So I do have a, a mix of different things, just whatever I can find. You can also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Both you can find me under Whitney Labrie Events. That's, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed my little trip down memory lane. And in the meantime, I hope I've inspired you to get back to your own dollhouse projects. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I think I know what the secret is. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs>